Welcome guys to the Slowpoke World, we're back with some more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and today we've only managed to get the one and only PTCG Radio, Ross Gilbert, how are we my friend? Hey Shay! We all good yeah? Yeah good man, although right, I want to put a caveat out right before we start here okay, I want to get my excuse on the record <laughs> if I do really badly, Okay. My, my background, my training right is in law. Did my law degree, supposed to be a solicitor, all of that. And lawyers don't know anything. They know, like, nothing. <laughs> but they're really good at looking stuff up. They're good at researching. Okay. So my excuse right off the bat, I don't know anything. I just know where to look it up. That's... So I'll, I'll try. But that's my excuse locked in right at the start. <laughs> Fair enough. I like that. Before we've even got started, <laughs> bang. Like, listen, I'm good at looking stuff up, bro. Like, <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna put notes to the test. I had a fair few comments asking for you, Ross, and uh, so I'm excited to see how we do. <clears throat> In case anyone's watching doesn't know what who wants to be a millionaire is, who who wants to be a millionaire is for some reason. Basically, I've got 15 questions lined up for uh, Ross over here. Um, I can't remember the multiples of money. I have them on the screen now. You can sort of have a look. It starts off very low, and then question 15 is a million. Uh, every multiple of five, so question five and question 10 is a safety question. So. Let's say Ross gets up to question six. Well done, Ross. We're getting there. But for some reason, gets it wrong because he hasn't got anything to look up this time now because he's, you know, on the spot. Um, he gets that one right. He'll fall back down to question five and that'll be the final uh, place. But uh, Ross has three lifelines. The first one is red and blue 50-50, which will eliminate two of the random wrong answers. Um, we've got phone a friend. And Ross, who are we actually phoning up today? It's going to be Joe. I think, you know, let's keep this train rolling from your last episode. Yeah, Joe, uh, spoiler, is a bit disgruntled from his performance last time. So maybe he's going to help uh, Ross, you know, get some retribution for him and finish off. And, oh, and before the call, we actually were discussing what your third life line would be, Ross. I'll let you choose. You can either have asked the host, which would be he gets to ask for my opinion on the question. Obviously, I have to pretend like I don't know the answer. I have to pretend if I didn't know the answer, what, what, what would I know? Or we can have asked the audience where we're going to put the question to Twitter, we'll leave it up for like one or two minutes, see see how, see how the answers come in, and then I'll give that data to Ross and use, he can use that to make his decision. So Ross, what would your third lifeline be, my friend? Let, let, let's do the Twitter one. Twitter sounds good. Twitter's done. Twitter's been pretty good to me lately. So we're going for Twitter. Jeez! Uh, let's get started then, shall we? That's right. Although I want to say, like, if people are requesting me, right, essentially one of two things is going to happen. I do well and people are like, well, of course he did well. Or I do badly and people are like, oh, he's a fraud. <laughs> Can't <laughs> win. <laughs> to be fair, I would much rather be the host than be the contestant. That is true. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, man. Okay, right, let's get started. So your question one, Ross, is... What is the fire type starter in Sinnoh? You have A, Torchic, B, Tepig, C, Chimcha, or D, Simiseer. Oh, dude, right. That, I hate questions like this. Because you have to sit there and you're like, right, well, Torchic, that's... And the problem is I'm going to say something wrong here. <laughs> but, like, Torchic is Gen 3, that's Hoenn. And Tepig is blatantly Unova, best fire starter. Although, I should say, it should be first partner Pokemon, not starter. But I'm going to let you off. Um, Chimchar, I mean, Chimchar, that is the one from Sinnoh, right? Because that's Gen 4. And then Simiseer. Simiseer isn't a first partner Pokemon. Unless I'm being dumb there. No, it's not. It's not. That is also Unova. That one's Gen 5. Yeah. Well, I mean, as it goes, wait, I can't say anything until you <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm like, keep it light, keep it conversational. He'll just tell you when you're right. That's here. it, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting metagamed on my own show. <laughs> Question one like... as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, and like, so like, you've got to get Sinnoh, right? We are in the Sinnoh Love Fest at the moment. Yeah. I was telling you before we started, like, I just, well, not just, but a couple of months ago, I finished playing through Platinum. Yeah. Although why anyone would play Platinum and not choose Piplup is just confusing to me. Ooh. Ooh, fight and talk. I think I'll be picking the answer to this question, to be honest. <laughs> is, is it Chimchar? It is Chimchar. Well done. That's your £100 question, or Pokemon question, I should say. Well done, Ross. All right, let's move on to question two, then. Your 200 uh, Pokemon dollar question. Uh, play much Quamorant, Ross, at all? Quamorant V? Oh, I mean, yeah, and when I did the Players' Cup 2 with Joe, we commentated so much Cramoran. Okay, well, hopefully. Like, so much Cramoran. Oh, you should have a home court advantage here. Excuse the spelling in this question, by the way. How much damage does Cramoran V do with Spit Shot? Uh, in brackets, no modification. We have A, 
100, B, 120, C, 150, or D, 160. See, people are going to look at the length of this episode and be like, wow, Ross must have done really well to, you know, for it to have gone on that long. And they'll be like, yeah, he failed on question three. <laughs> well, that should be, you should be getting this one right at least, right? <laughs> this one, yeah. Well, this one's nice and easy because the way to remember spit shot is it KOs to Dan AGX. Yep. Yep. Dude, you just confirmed Oh, it no, I did not! <laughs> <laughs> you, I need to stop this. You're playing me too well. <laughs> Oh, I totally got you there. Uh, <laughs> I've been had. I've been had. Oh my lord. Uh, but yeah, it is DFT. It's one sixty because yeah, yeah. it's um, it, it's a KO on the Dene. But also, if you put a telescopic sight on there, then it gets uh, Crowbar. Although it would get Crowbar if it did one fifty, but it's one sixty. Yeah. You are correct. It's one sixty. Believe it or not. <laughs> I can't believe oh, I'm gonna keep doing this. this. I need fun. to just stop. Once, uh, once I've asked the question, I'm going to zip my mouth. I'm going to mute the mic. Like, off you go then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kwan Ran, uh, top top card. Basically, you should read bottom attack KO to then A. <laughs> like, yeah. And find a long view scope if you want to KO Crobat. <laughs> yeah, top, oh, top yes. card. And we've got the VMAX now to mess around with as well. Jeez. Okay, moving on. Question three now. Ross did say this could be the wobbly question, so let's see how he does. And this time, he ain't getting the answer out of me today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. What is Baby Bacephalon's uh, uh, from Unbroken Bond? Second attack called A, Pyroball Circus, B, Fireball Trick, C, Energy Fling, or D, Fireball Circus? See, these are the things, right? I'm sitting around and I'm all casual and I'm fr and also by the way right when it comes to attack names that's Joe. If you ever watch <laughs> me and Joe on an official broadcast, we've been on a bunch. Hopefully more in the future. I have no idea, but we have been on a bunch in the past. You'll always notice Joe is on it with the attack names, yeah. and I'm like I know what they do, and I got the <laughs> matchups down, but who's got time to learn attack names? But there was a lot of. There was a lot of uh, Blissett. I've literally got the Pokemon's name then, even though it's on the screen. But <laughs> there's a lot of there was a lot of Blissethalon. You know, it's um. Oh, who was it? It was Josh, and he did really well and, and got quite far. I'm sure it's Fireball Circus. Ooh. It's not Energy Fling. It's not Fireball Trick. And Pyroball Circus sounds awkward. So let's go Fireball Circus. And if it's wrong, I'm just not sending you the video file. <laughs> There's no <laughs> extorted here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you requested this. <laughs> the video is under hostage right now. <laughs> um, but it is um, <laughs> is Fireball Circus. So luckily, I should be getting some footage. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Like, listen, I'm to get this right. We're running it back. So join. <laughs> Otherwise, you ain't getting the footage. <laughs> yeah, I've got some leverage, why not use it? This is true, this is true. <clears throat> but now we see everyone watching is going to be like, wait. Yeah. So, is this the first time they did this? Or did Ross do really badly and force Shay to do another go round? <laughs> Everyone's just like, you know, you can slide on YouTube the little thing down and see how far I get. Oh, Ross got to, got to the last question. Oh, what a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, Ross, Mamoswoy, that's in your channel logo, isn't it? It is. So is it is it your favorite Pokemon? Or is it Donphan? I know it's one of the two. I think, right? It is Mamoswine, oh. and oh, dude, you can't do this to me. <laughs> I like doing this, getting getting get, giving guests questions on Pokemon they like. So if they get it wrong, it burns them up. <laughs> so Ross, um, what is Mamoswine's highest base stat? We have A, HP, B, Why would I know speed, that? C, attack, or D, defense. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> oh, um. Well, I know it's not speed. He ain't that fast. So I know it's not speed. Okay. But I shouldn't tell you that because now if I do 50 50, you're just going to get rid of speed. <laughs> so cheers for that. <laughs> That's what you get for getting me to get the answers off me last time. <laughs> and I'm sure it's physical, like physical attacker. So it could be attack. Okay. But, like, any of the other three make sense. And the problem is, the only time, like the only time I have, and why would I ask Joe? Is Joe gonna know this? Joe actually um, did pretty good on his video game question. I'm not gonna lie. The thing is, so there's one time I have properly invested, and I, I, looking back, I have no idea how I had the time. But at the start of Gen, so it was like 2016 when Gen 7 came out. 
Yeah, because 2019 was January, so it'd be 2016. Mm -hmm. I actually, like, legitimately put loads of time and started, like, I actually went to a bunch of tournaments, picked up a bunch of championship points. So, if you ask me about the Gen 7 format, I'm in, but Mama Swine wasn't good in that format. In fact, Mama Swine wasn't in the Alolan deck, so you couldn't no. even play it in that format. No, it wasn't. Never, never dilly dabbled with any smoke on then. No, I, I only, I only like playing the official tournament thing. And the thing is, right, I was in Dallas a couple of years ago, and I had Wolfie Glick, right? The, the, the like, well, it's either him or Ray Rizzo for like the best VG player ever. And I'm doing this like, and it's, it's basically I'm interviewing a bunch of champions who have won a bunch of tournaments. And in the middle of this like proper sensible interview, I'm like, Wolfie, Mama Swine, any good? And made him kind of lay out how good Mama Swine was, purely out of my own sense of vanity. <laughs> and I still don't know and the you still answer. Don't know I have the no answer. idea. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, we might as well put it out over Twitter then. Oh, it's going to be a Twitter one. Oh, boy. Here yeah. we go. Right. Now. Right. So we've got our results from our Ask the Twitter lifeline that was used. Um, and the votes came out to 100%. Let me just check. Attack. So there you go. 100% attack. Right, in that case, attack, if I had to guess, and I've not reached a safety point yet, so I do have to guess, I would have guessed attack, and if we got four out of four gone attack, I'm going to go attack, and if I'm wrong, I'm just going to blame Twitter. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Twitter had you back, though. It was attack. Well oh. done, well done. Yeah, my most nice. one's a beast. I think off the top of my head, it's got like 95 or 90, 90 HP, 90 speed, like 110 attack. It is a woof, that Pokemon. So much sick gen, I use that. Set rocks. Earthquake choice band. Woo! That boy yeah. was a geese. I can see why he's your favorite Pokemon. No. Love me some Mama Swine. Good Pokemon. I'm afraid. Ooh, what question is this? Question five. Okay. Uh, oh, that's kind of what this question is on. To me. What deck did Shay play slash feature on PTCG Radio? A. Garchomp. B. Dark Dragons. C. Vespiquen. Or D. Mega Mewtwo Y. I feel like I should have saved an ask you lifeline oh, yeah. for this. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I feel like I can't you remember, know. sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> oh, right. Um I, Is this the thousand pound question? Uh, well, it's just question five. Yeah, the next question I think is actually I probably should have swapped the order around on these two, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it You've is. You've done me dirty on this one. Man. It is like, what it is. <laughs> I want to see. I want to. I don't want to go and look and cheat. I want to no. cheat, but I want to go and look at how many videos I've done. It's something like three thousand. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And oh, okay. Right. I think you can so, you can work this one out. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I reckon. By you know, ed not not educated guess, but like process of elimination, we can work this one out. I'm sure you can. Right. So this would have been about 2015, because 2016 was when Ordino won World, and that was when I really started shifting. Because I did the Ordino video, that did really well. Yeah. And that's when my channel really started drifting into card analysis, deck analysis, things of that nature. Yeah. So I don't. I think at that point I'd basically given up. Plus, 2016 was the year I started doing commentary for Pokemon, which was the year I moved back to Cornwall oh. and basically didn't have chance to record many games in person. So, yeah. we're talking pre-2016. Okay. But that doesn't really help very much. Because <laughs> pre-2016 was when X and Y, and these are basically... So it wouldn't have been... So Mega Mewtwo Y was an X and... That was an X and Y deck. Which... Wait, were Megas X and Y? Yeah. They were, yeah, because yeah, the X. first Megas were Mega Blastoise, Venusaur, and they were in X and Y base set. Yeah. Which was early 2016. Which was still before I'm... No, because it would have been November 2016 when X and Y... When Gen 7... Ooh. That could still have been in it, though. That's the problem. Um, okay, I'm actually going to give you a little bit of help here because I do feel if look at the next question, these should have been the other way around. So I'm the host, I can do what I like. I'm going to give you a little bit of help on this one, okay? Um, the event, you wasn't there for that. Someone else filmed it and sent you the footage, right? We, um, it was me and Connor Bird. We played our game, uh, went up on the channel, did really well. And because the deck I was playing um, at the time was a bit off the wall, 
a lot of comments were, oh, can you get the list? Can you get the list? And then that's when I seen the list and you actually did a second video with the list. That's your that's your little bit of help there because I'm feeling nice because I got these questions the wrong way around. Oh, man, you're talking random videos from like six <laughs> years ago. Okay, so I guess the key uh, points are the, 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 the deck was so off the wall, people wanted to see the exact list. Like, that's how bonkers it was. You know, I play crazy stuff. Um, yeah. Was it... Yeah. Was it the London event that Joe won with Vesperquen Bats? Or Evil Tower Vesperquen? Uh, no, it was uh, Insert and Coalfield this event. <laughs> it's Insert and Coalfield. Oh, okay, so no. Because there was one in London where I couldn't go because I was ill, and I'd come up with this ridiculous Vesperquen Evil Tower Bats deck, which Joe refined into a much better deck, and then won the event while I sat at home poorly. So cheers, Joe. Yeah, I remember that day. Yeah, I remember watching it. But the it. next weekend, just, yeah. we went to Wales and played a 60-card mirror, and I knocked him out of top cut. So, in your face, Joe. Wee! <laughs> Speaking oh. of Joe, you could ring him here if you wanted. He is your lifeline. I think I'm going to have to ring Joe, because I, <laughs> like, I don't think it's Mega Mewtwo, because I don't remember you playing that, and that was not to the off-the-wall deck, and I'm sure that was a bit later. Yeah. Garchomp, I don't really think anyone played Garchomp. So, I'd imagine it would be Dark Dragons or Vesperquen, but... I think mean, I suppose I'm guessing Vesper gun at this stage, but I don't really know. So, uh, was Joe at the Sutton Coalfield event? Uh, what? He might have been. He might have been. He usually was. I think he might have been, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, fine. Let's. Uh, I'm going to ring Joe We're on gonna Discord. going to have to ring Just Joe. Like, Joe, what's going on? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Joe. You're, you're on. You're on. Who wants to be a millionaire? So don't don't swear. Okay. Um, right. I mean, Jay has Jay has done me dirty on these questions so far, right? <laughs> he asked me what was Mamoswine's highest base stat. Okay. And they're all basically like five away from each other. <laughs> Good. Uh, so I managed to like wade through that by basically asking Twitter. He's asked me this ridiculous question. So, apparently, like six or seven years ago, I recorded one of his games at a tournament in Sutton Coldfield and commentated it for the channel. Okay. And apparently it was an unusual deck and a bunch of people asked him for the deck list. And then yeah. I did a follow-up video showing the deck list. Okay. So, he wants to know what deck he was playing in that particular... Or he wants me to tell him what deck he was playing in that video. Is Garchomp one of the options? Garchomp is one of the options. Yeah, I think it's when he sand tomb trapped Connor Bird. I think that's the answer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and it was in... Yeah, he's right. he said it was a game against Connor. How do you know this and I don't, man? Because it's hilarious. <laughs> Connor hates that video. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay, I think so it's become kind of a bit of a meme he, he between used, other people. He used the bite to trap for like a bunch of turns and troll Connor. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> so Ross rang up Joe and uh, Ross, what was, the, what was the deliberation? What has Joe told you? So it turns out it was the Garchomp from Breakpoint. And the funny thing was, like, I mean, you, you didn't actually hear it, but hopefully the people on the video did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe was like, is Garchomp one of the answers? <laughs> Just and I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, he's playing Connor Bird. And I'm like, oh, how do you know this? Apparently, it's it's a thing. But yeah, apparently, it was Sand Trap and all of that. And yeah. you, um, yeah, you got him good. So I'm going to say, God, again, you've just confirmed oh it. Oh my God, I need to stop doing that. Do you know what it is? It's because in my head, you got the right answer. Anyways, I was like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I'd be, I'd be an awful game show host if we were alive, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh. oh, dear. But um, yeah, so, in real life, they just cut around it. But yeah, it's Garchomp. Um, yeah. Funnily enough, Garchomp is the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, that was one. That was one crazy game. That was yes. It went to sudden death in like a best of one, right? And then it came to um, and obviously it was Turbo Turbo Dark versus Garchomp in a in a um, in a what's it called sudden death. I'm thinking like, there's no way I can win this. Like they just go like a Max Elixir Dark Pulse game, right? But the the the, the way it fell. Stage two beat the all basic deck in a best of a, in a, in a sudden death. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, God, jump. Okay, so question six. Um, you mentioned Don Fam, uh, Ross. This question, yeah, this, this one definitely should have been question five. But um, you've also hit your saved question, so very good. The worst you can do now is question five. The oh. irony being that I now can't lose to Joe thanks to Joe. This is true. 
This is very true. <laughs> So this question, I think, should be a bit easier, but we shall see. Don Fan Prime mentioned it a little bit before. You um, you played a lot of Don Fan Prime, didn't you, Ross, back in the day? Yes. <laughs> Good attack, wasn't it? One for 60, I think, wasn't it? And then 10 to all your bench. To each of your bench, yeah. Your bench. Had an ability, though, didn't it? It did. Do you remember what that ability was called? Have A, Rockhead, B, Sturdy, C, Exoskeleton, or D, Solid Trunk? I think mean, I'm pretty sure it's Exoskeleton, right? Um, I'm not going to log that in yet. See, here's the thing, right? Not only did I play a lot of Don Fan, I... Did, like, in this format, I am genuinely convinced if I realise how good Don Fan is earlier, I get a world invite. Because essentially, right, I, re I was playing loads of Machamp Don Fan, mm -hmm. which was not as good a deck. Okay. Essentially, Don Fan, you scooped to Gyarados. Right. And straight Dialga Chomp. Lux Chomp with a 1 1 Dialga, nobody cares. But straight Dialga Chomp was a problem. Every other deck, I went in feeling like I was going to win. Like, I mean, there was Gengar Vile Plume, but you only lost to that when they hit more than 50% on Fainting Spell. Okay. It was a ridiculous deck, but I didn't start playing it until the very end of the year. And I literally, right, I went to three Battle Rows and got a first, second, and third. And I went to Nationals, and I lost in top 16, and I'm still salty about this, because <laughs> I won, it was against Gengar Vileplume, so I win game one, yeah. lose game two because of Fainting Spell flips, and then game three, he starts Spiritomb, and I'm like, this is why I play Regice, to move the Spiritomb. So I search my Regice and its prize, and I'm like, this is why I play Azalf. <laughs> so I search for Azalf, and Azalf is prized. Oh my. <laughs> and then I can't move the spirit tomb and I might have locked and I lose. But literally, like, if both of those cards weren't... And the annoying thing is, right, so that Nationals was won by Yasin Sakum playing yeah. Gengar Vileplume. Right. The next weekend, we both end up meeting at a City Championship or a Battle Road in Sheffield, playing the same decks we played at Nationals and I beat him. Okay. <laughs> so like, I am convinced that that Don Fan deck was, like I say... And the only person playing Gyarados at Nationals was Alex, who, who I donked in round five, and I feel terrible about that. Um, so this Don like, Fan deck, sorry, what was it part of? Was it just straight, straight Don Fan? It was literally just speed Don Fan. There was oh, okay. no other viable attacker in the whole deck. Okay. But it was just, it was super fast, super, cons like, ridiculously consistent. And it just, it just ran through everything. Yeah. Like, you know, I'd, I'd play against a Glaceon level X deck and the person would be like, ha, they didn't get an attack off all game. <laughs> They're like, I'm hitting water weakness. And I'm like, yeah, if you can attack. Yeah. Speed Dawn fan was so good. Uh, it definitely wasn't Rockhead. It definitely wasn't Solid Trunk. Um, so, see, a better question here would have been, did it reduce damage by 20 or 30? Because they keep reprinting this ability. Yeah. And it used to be 20. And at some point it changed to 30. And I can't quite remember when. But I'm pretty sure it's Exoskeleton. Do you remember what the ability was then? What what, what did it do? Just out of interest. Oh, it reduced damage by... It was 20 off... The problem is, I've played too many cards with this ability. Yeah, no, some were correct. 20 and some were 30. I think at the time it was minus 20. But I could be wrong about that. I think it is. I think it is twenty. Um, and you are correct. It is exoskeleton. Well done. Well done. Yeah. See that one. I'm not gonna get. See like that, that's a. Uh, I played so much Don Fan. <laughs> like after I discovered it, I only played that with Machamp, and then I gave up Machamp. And like I say, one of my big Pokemon regrets is that it took me so long that season to drop Machamp. Yeah. Because. In theory, Machamp really covered a lot of the matchups for you. Yeah. In practice, every basic deck that Machamp helped you with, Don Fan just steamrolled anyway. Oh, so this wasn't Machamp Prime. You're referring to the takeout Machamp. I, both. I played so many different oh, variants. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I played Machamp Prime. I played takeout Machamp. I shouldn't have done. Speed, just pure speed Don Fan. Like I say, you had to punt the Gyarados and Dialgachomp matchups. Yeah. But, like, every other game you basically won. It was nuts. Shout out to my boy Takeout Match. I read that in the format. Can you imagine that? <laughs> like, what? Play basic. Oh, See ya. That'd be fun, man. It, it would was... be so good. So, in case anyone doesn't know, 
um, there was a match amp stage two for one edge. You had takeout, right? I did one for 40, but I had a little bit of text that said, if, if it's hitting into a basic, basically, they are knocked out. Just, you know, no, there's no if, hands, or buts here. It's just gone. <laughs> um, so similar, there was, uh, what was it called? Rampardos had the same attack, but for free um, energy. Obviously, that never saw players with free energy, but this, this had that attack for one. So this is, a, we're not messing about here. So just a machop of one energy. Like, what, go on, I dare you. Leave a basic in active. Bitch, bash, bash, on. <laughs> You've got to remember, oh, at the time, we had broken time space, oh, the true. stadium that let you evolve whenever you wanted. Oh, no. And dear. Rare Candy got around the evolution rule. So at the time, you could, oh, you could. turn one, just go match up. Well, <laughs> It, when you were allowed to play trainers, you weren't always. Yeah, but yeah. you could just go match up Rare Candy, match amp, take out, and just win. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Back in the... Because you could... Could you still attack turn one going first? Um, You could attack, but you couldn't play trainers. For the, for the Diamond and Pearl era, yeah. you couldn't play items. You couldn't play trainers, but you could attack. Okay. So you wanted yeah. to go second generally. So, you so you would, your opponent would basically do nothing and then you would go second and go nuts. Yeah, sort of similar to how you want to let your opponent go first now so they don't get support. You'd be like, bitch, bash, bash, yeah. That's good, man. It's crazy, <laughs> crazy. Can imagine that? <laughs> it's like people always say, oh, you know, the, the first turn rules, all that. You could lose before you don't even do anything. Mewtwo, Dude, DC, was... Muscle Man, T, you like, what? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> so, Ross, we were saying before we started recording, you've been playing for all the games, right? Well, you're up to Gen 5, I believe, right? Yeah, so I've, 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 in, in, basically in a row, I've done Heart Gold, Alpha Sapphire, Platinum, White, and now I'm going through, I'm like, I've got to Verbank City in white too, so I'm going through like all of them. Okay. When was the last time you played Gen 1? I mean, really, the last time I played Gen 1 was Let's Go Eevee. Okay. Right. I need to actually, I didn't think about Let's Go Eevee this question. I hope it's the same. I think it is. Um, <laughs> then we and then, of course, I, mean, I did the Kanto stuff at the end of Heart Gold. Actual Gen 1, I played through. We'll put it, I played through Leaf Green. Okay. Years ago now. Oh, okay, years. And I picked up my cart the other day, and I've got Jirachi on there. So I must have gone to an event to get a Jirachi. Yeah. Which is quite cool. That, yeah. No memory of it, but apparently I did. So your question seven, Ross, is, you know, funny enough, based on Gen 1, believe it or not. <laughs> That's why we're talking about it. Where would you find the old Amber in Gen 1? A, Rock Tunnel. B, Mount Moon. C, Cinnabar Island. Or D, Pewter City. Ooh, my initial reaction was Rock Tunnel, because I'm sure, I'm sure it's one of those where. And see, this this is the problem with playing through all the games, because you you get given fossils in all the games except Gem Four, where you have to dig for them. Oh yeah. But you you just kind of like so you keep being given it so it's hard to remember which is which i know in gen 3 you find them in the sand where you find the red where regirog lives yep not that that helps at all <laughs> and gen 4 you have to dig for them yep and oh i'm sure it's not pewter city because you don't find it in a city you find it in a tunnel i just but it could just had any, confirmation it could... sorry it is the same in let's go it's, it could be in any of them. Let's, let's go 50-50. We might as well. I'm not 100% on this. We're using 50-50. This is a good use 50-50 in my opinion. Right. So if anyone doesn't know, 50-50 will eliminate two random wrong answers. Leaving Ross with the correct answer and one remaining um, wrong answer. Ping, ping. So you have C, Cinnabar Island and D, Pewter City left. Are you kidding? So Rock Tunnel was miles away then. Um, really glad I used the 50-50. Well, I'm, sh I'm sure it's not... So the problem is, I in my head, right? In my head, I'm remembering it as you're rocking around in some kind of tunnel-y, cavey bits <laughs> and some dude's like, I found these two fossils. Which one do you want? Yeah. But I could be remembering that from a different game other than Gen 3 or Gen 4. Um, but I'm sure it's not Pewter City because firstly, Pewter City is well early in the game. Like, too early because that, that's, that's Brock and that's the Rock Gym, which is... One of the first ones. Mm -hmm. And that's too early in the game to get yourself a fossil. So, and it's, and I'm sure it's cavey bits. And Cinnabar Island is a bunch of cavey bits. So let's go Cinnabar Island. Is that your final answer? Bro? I mean, yeah, I have no, yeah. I have yeah. no extra information and no other lifelines. Okay. So in Gen 1, and let's go. You find Old Amber in... 
Computer City Raw. Oh, City. Man. Yeah, it was in the. So, you are correct in saying that it is early on in the game, right? But there's some cut trees, and you can't. In, and the old Amber's behind the cut trees. You have to get cut, come back, and that's yes. how. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, all, it's all coming back at, to you at now. the top. Uh, Sinaloa Island was a bit of a red herring. That's that's where you get the fossils revived, right? So that's why yeah. that's there. Um, you are correct. Gen 1 is that you do find the fossils in that scenario. You said, oh, here's some fossils. You can pick one. Uh, that was in Mount Moon, though. Um, and Rock Tunnel, that was just a generic cave. You don't find any fossils there at all, unfortunately. That was just a random cavey oh, bit. Oh, dude. Yeah. Old Amber isn't one of the two main fossils. Old Amber is Aerodactyl. Yes, you I are knew that. It's not, but that's not where you get Amastar or, excuse me, Omanite or Kabuto stops from. That's it, yeah, yeah. So you get the, the fossils for those two in Mount Moon, but Old Amber, you're right. It's a little, little bonus one, isn't it, that you get? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man, never mind. I, I feel all right about that. I, I got through some of your, like, horrible questions. <laughs> I didn't get the Don Fan Prime question wrong, which would have been super embarrassing. <laughs> like, is it the channel logo in that like? <laughs> oh, well, just how much I've, how much Don Fan. I'm like, I played a ridiculous. Like when we did the um, when we did the caster challenges mm -hmm. for Players Cup Two, and they were like, it's legacy format. I'm like, I'm playing some variant of Don Fan. Yeah. I don't get how good it is. I'm playing a Don Fan variant. Well, good performance though. It's been an absolute pleasure. You know, doing this and chatting fun, with man. you, Ross. It's been really fun. <laughs> uh, when I come up with some new game shows, I'd love to get you back for sure. On the off chance, Ross, some on the off chance people are watching this video and they don't know who you are and what you do. The floor is yours. You know, what do you do? Where can they find you? Uh, YouTube.com slash PTCG Radio. A lot of channels claim to be the most complete Pokemon channel or to cover everything. I think when it comes to Pokemon cards, I think I can actually lay claim to being the most complete channel because I, I do everything I can think of. I spend too much time on it. It runs my life and I'm not even embarrassed. <laughs> or on Twitter at The Wossy. Wossy is Jonathan Ross, a famous British comedian. The Wossy is me. <laughs> and I talk about card games. I basically have a family and play games and that's it. That's like my entire life. And I think that's pretty good. Sounds like the life to be fair, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with that. But uh, thank you so much. If you got this far. Thanks for having me, man. You got this far, but you smash that like button, smash that subscribe. If you don't, as I said, if you don't know who Ross is, it goes like, yeah, what's it, all the news, all the coverage, all the early coverage, the Japan coverage, good trivia stuff as well. I got the history series as well. So man, make sure you go check that out.